Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Peachy Senpai. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a Halloween lookbook. If you guys don't have any idea of what you want to do for Halloween, these are some good Halloween costume ideas um, and Halloween ideas for your Sims. If you want to do some story times or something like that, or just have something to do for this spooky season, these are some Halloween costumes that you can put on your Sims. Of course, I had to do Catwoman. Me personally, I really do like the Halle Berry version of Catwoman. The storyline, of course, was a little bit jammed but I love Halle Berry and I absolutely love her design and she was so beautiful in that movie and I want the Halloween I want the costume this year I just do and also I love all things feline all things like sexy leather dominatrix all that kind of stuff I'm for it and yeah so basically this lookbook is definitely gonna be the sexy version I would like to do maybe one or two other versions of a Halloween lookbook and one of them will be a kind of spooky scary creepy and I would like the last version to be like gory like a zombie or something you know what i mean like a not a skeleton because skeletons aren't that gory but i would like to do two other versions of this before halloween so we're gonna see if i can fit all of this in before the 31st for my next monster high creative sim i will be doing elizabeth and then i will be doing jennifer i i'm so excited to be doing those two jennifer was one of my top three that i wanted to do first along with cleo so i'm really excited that somebody suggested that i do jennifer as well i've been collecting and figuring out what kind of cc i want to use for her lookbook or for their lookbooks and i'm so excited like super excited but um anyway so for catwoman i of course wanted to go for her signature look which was her leather top and bottom and her her and her mask and her jewelry or like her necklace that she turned into her nails that she stole in like the first scene of Catwoman being Catwoman <laughs> or of Catwoman you know coming to life and I was super excited that I actually had something that looked really nicely like of course I wanted to go for something that had the rips in the pants but I didn't have anything like that and I found these pants in this top and of course it is by Bella Lo Allure <laughs> I think that's how you say it. I absolutely love their clothes. They're super high quality. They're very alpha, but I freaking love them. Like I've been steering away from alpha, but that's one creator I absolutely cannot skip out on. I just can't. Their custom content is absolutely top tier. If you guys are interested in any of this custom content, I will always have everything linked below in a Google doc so that you can go to the link and download it yourself. And I will also be starting to post my Sims on Patreon. You guys can find that link in the description as well. If you do head to my Patreon when this video is posted, I probably won't have anything but an introduction posted. So be aware of that, but pretty soon I will start uploading my sims and then i also will be creating a short video and a short that i can show you guys where i get most of my custom content and how i source it For the next cosplay, I wanted to do a nun. I've had this custom content for a very long time. This is by Bus Busra, Busra. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but this costume is from Busra. I got the idea to include this 
costume in this lookbook because I recently saw The Nun 2. I've been watching those movies along with uh, like insidious movies for a very long time and I think they really aren't that scary to me. Like I am pretty scared of scary movies sometimes but The Nun does not scare me. <laughs> She just doesn't. Of course, if I was to like see a nun like that in real life, I'd be terrified. But the movie itself is not scary to me. It's just a lot of jump scares. I literally was screaming. But yeah, I wanted to go for like a clean look, of course, in the face, but also very pretty. I added some cross-shaped blush later on after I took her screenshots, but either way, she's cute with or without it. If you guys are dressing up for Halloween, let me know who or what you're gonna be for this Halloween. Last Halloween, I didn't dress up. In the Halloween before that, I was Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> I can try to include a picture on the screen for y'all. And I also was an angel, a dark angel. Um, I'm not gonna include pictures of me in my costume, but I'll show you guys the costume. And I also have been a vampire before and fortune teller. I love dressing up for Halloween. I love cosplay. I love dressing up. I think it's, it's just so fun to be able to get into character. I would say for all of these ideas that I have in this lookbook, I definitely have considered all of them. Yeah, I've considered all of them, but I just use most of these lookbook ideas because of the custom content I already had. If you guys are enjoying this video, thank you so much for watching please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so that you never miss an upload And then next, I decided to make Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn was like blowing up 
at one point. I remember literally everybody was Harley Quinn. I remember one year I went to a party or like went out to some clubs or something, but everybody was Harley Quinn. <laughs> I was like, geez, there's like nobody else here but Harley Quinn. Nothing wrong with that. Harley Quinn is lovely Halloween character. I have definitely considered dressing up as Harley Quinn, but I also don't want to have to do any clown makeup. I'm just not any good at it. I didn't want to make her too clown-like. So I kept her like kind of glamorous, you know, this is four friends dressing up for Halloween to go out to a party. That's what this lookbook is giving me. Oh, so the outfit that I have for Harley Quinn, I also have had this for a very long time and I haven't used it. But yeah, I definitely didn't want to give this Creative Sam lookbook um, a super spooky look because I want to save that for my two other things that I have for my for my Halloween lookbooks. Because like I said, I want to do another one. It's going to be the creepy version and then I'll do a gory version. We're going to see how that goes. And maybe I'll do like a another one that's like a cult specific yeah I'll, I'll try to do three more lookbooks and we're gonna see how they come out i'm not sure i'm gonna do four characters each create a sim but we shall see what my creativity does for me
And on to the last character. So I wanted to use another piece of custom content that I had that is specifically for Halloween. It is a Lola Bunny costume. And this was also by Busra TR, I think. But when I put it back on her, I, I downloaded this like years ago. So it doesn't look up to par as my newer CC does. So I ended up not using it and using a different version of some shorts that look similar. All right, so the shorts come from the Sarwin or Sarwin. I don't really know how to say the creator's name, but that is their down bad set. And then I just did my best to recreate the outfit with all the other CC that I had available. I did end up using the socks that came with those shorts, but not the top. I used the top that came with the costume outfit by Busra TR. Comment down below which lookbook you're looking forward to next. Creepy, gory, or occult? Let me know down in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Like you're in the thriller, heart goes pump, pump, pump. Ghostly figures, they can get so bitter. Show sure you want to enter, you can turn back to. Could you love her? Oh. 
Anyone can love a pretty little mansion. 